Is the bottom in for Bitcoin's price or are we still going to see lower prices? How can you even tell when the market has hit the bottom? I don't know. These are all important questions and in today's video, I'm going to show you five indicators that have not only successfully signaled the bottoms for Bitcoin, but they've never been wrong. Make sure to stay to the end of the video so that you can see how you guys can win $100. We won! So let me shut my damn face hole and let's get right into what you guys came for. Okay, so I do need my face hole in order to be able to talk and show you guys these indicators. What's up guys, I am Jay from Bitcoin Daily. And before we get into these indicators, remember that past results do not guarantee future profits. Always DYOR, do your own research. And this is not financial advice. All of these indicators are for long-term holdings. So if an indicator is flashing a potential Bitcoin bottom or buy signal right now, it does not mean that the price will go up tomorrow or next week or next month. I personally Personally, use these indicators to begin dollar cost averaging into my long-term positions. So the first indicator that we're going to take a look at is the R HODL ratio. It basically measures people holding Bitcoin for one week or less versus wallets that have been holding Bitcoin for one to two years. So if the wallets holding for one week or less are more than the wallets holding Bitcoin for one to two years, it is a signal that the market is getting overheated or a top signal. You can see that it has accurately called the top on Bitcoin's price back in 2011, back in 2013, and back in 2017. However, in our most recent bull run, it actually did not signal a top ever. But we're not here for the top signals right now. We're looking at the bottom signals. And this indicator does that as well. You can see back in 2010, if you would have bought while this indicator was in this little green band here, the price shot up. Once again, in 2012, the indicator came right back into this green band. And you'll notice that soon after the price once again shot up. Back in 2014 and 15, you can see that this went way down into the green band, signaling a bottom for Bitcoin and prices started to move up soon after. After the drop in 2018 and 2019's bear market, you can see that it also signaled a bottom and buy signal here and prices soon moved up. Looking at it right now, it has not yet gone into the green band, but if it did, this would be a time to start accumulating Bitcoin to your long-term holdings. However, because the indicator didn't quite reach the top red part last time, it also might not be reaching the bottom green band. So this could potentially be a signal for the bottom here because it's close enough, right? This is why we don't just rely on one single indicator. We like to look at multiple different indicators that point to the same story. We're trying to find the pieces for the puzzle. The next indicator that we're going to take a look at is the MVRV Z-score. A MVRV Z-score is a Bitcoin chart that uses blockchain analysis to identify periods where Bitcoin is extremely over or undervalued relative to its fair value. So similar to the last indicator, we're going to be looking at both the red bands and the green bands again. What we're looking at is the Z-score, which is in red. The market cap is in blue. So dating back to 2011, you'll see the first time that it got into this green band was at the same time that Bitcoin was reaching its bottom here. Soon after, you can see that the market cap took off and so did the Z-score. Once again, in 2015, the Z-score reached the green band. You can see at the same time, Bitcoin's price and market cap was hitting the bottom here. Now it's interesting to see that the first time that the Z-score got into the green band was October 4th, 2014, but the price didn't start rotating back to the upside and getting out of the band until October 21st, 2015. So it literally took a year for Bitcoin to bottom out and reverse its price back up. That's why I'm telling you that these are long-term indicators. Back in 2000. 2018, we saw a similar thing, entered again into the green band here, entered around November of 2018, and got out around April of 2019. You can see the prices bottomed out and began to move up. We hit the green band again, of course, during the pandemic issues on March of 2020. You can see that the price dropped really hard during that time. And if you would have bought there, it shot right back up. 
You can see that back in February 21st, 2021, it signaled an overheat or top signal for Bitcoin. And you can see that Bitcoin's price started falling soon after that. Now, once again, we are in the green band. We've been in it for about a month now. So it is once again signaling a potential bottom here for Bitcoin, a potential buying opportunity for your long-term holdings. This indicator, just like the previous one, has never been wrong. The next indicator that we're going to take a look at is the Puel multiple. This metric looks at the supply side of Bitcoin's economy, Bitcoin miners and their revenue. This is probably also one of my favorite indicators. This one works the same way, red, green bands, you sell at red, you buy at green. You can see that if you would have bought here in back in 2011, price went up soon after. If you would have bought again back in 2015, that was clearly the bottom here and prices started moving up soon after. Back at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, that was another bottom signal there. Again, back in May of 2020, prices moved up very soon after that. You had the opportunity to buy in at 9,000 at that point. And here we are again, price is currently sitting at around $22,000. It's marking a potential bottom for Bitcoin and a potential buying opportunity. Next, we're going to look at the Bitcoin rainbow price chart indicator. The rainbow chart is a long-term valuation tool for Bitcoin. It uses a logarithmic growth curve to forecast the potential future price direction of Bitcoin. So you can see all the different colors within this and it describes here at the bottom whether to buy, sell, or just hodl. Currently, where the price is, is between fire sell and buy. So I think this indicator is pretty much telling you exactly what you're supposed to be doing here. If you look at his past going all the way back to 2010, if you would have bought in the blue, you see that it went up. If you bought again at a buy, once again, the price eventually moved up. You could have bought again in 2015 at a fire sell or buy signal. Once again, March of 2020, we had another fire sell. And right now, the indicator is once again indicating fire sell slash buy. The final indicator that we are going to cover in today's video, the Pi Cycle Bottom Indicator. Now the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, I don't like too much because it's been wrong before. You can see if you would have sold here, where it's called the Pi Cycle Top, you would have lost out on this huge 471% move up. But you'll see that in 2015, it did call the bottom here. If you would have bought there, you would have been able to ride this all the way to the top. And in 2017, it did call the Pi Cycle top. Then at the end of 2018, you'll see that it called the bottom here. And if you would have bought there, that would have been around $3,700 per Bitcoin. However, you'll notice that it never called a Pi Cycle top during this run. But now we're seeing a Pi Cycle bottom being alerted here. But remember that we still have nine more days in this month. So we're looking at the monthly candle right now. So this could change, right? However, if you go into the weekly, it looks like it called it during this uh, weekly candle right here. So I'm not sure if it would repaint at this point. So again, the Pi Cycle bottom has never been been wrong when calling the bottom. Although it might take a few months, it eventually starts moving up and that eventually does become the bottom signal. So I just gave you guys five different indicators that have never been wrong when calling the Bitcoin bottom. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about these indicators. If you think the bottom is in or if Bitcoin's price might be going lower, I will be sending $100 to my favorite comments. Don't forget to watch my previous video where I showed you guys the best and worst performing price action patterns with an 83% success rate. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and love.